everybody, Ben with Empower Gaming Computers here today, and I'm here to talk to you about DDR5. Awesome! It's been here for like a year, um, and more and more hardware is being launched. Uh, recently, AMD 7000 series, Intel uh, upcoming 13th gen is coming in uh, October 20th of 2022, uh, along with the new motherboards that come along with those, like the X670 for AM5 or X670E or your Intel 700, um, 700 series chipsets that are being launched as well uh, when those 13th gen CPUs go out. Awesome. So this means more and more people are going to be looking at purchasing DDR5 since more and more uh, hardware is now supporting it. Great. So DDR5 is fast with a base speed of 4,000 megahertz Going up to about probably 6,600 megahertz, I believe, is some of the faster kits out there. Um, and G-Scale even broke world records with their overclocks, which is great. But there are things you should know and consider before going and buying DDR5. And this is going to save you money, time, and probably a lot of headaches. Um, especially... If you've watched maybe Jay's Two Cents videos on this, I'm kind of touching on the same things, but I just want you to kind of think of it differently, maybe, or at the same time, he probably said the same thing in his video, I think. Um, but specifically, DDR5. If you remember DDR4, uh, during the same, when it launched, DDR4, it was without, it wasn't without issues. So there was a lot of issues when DDR4 first launched. Um, for example, um, RAM kits were sold with Intel XMP profile support or AMD profile support, XMP profile support. And it was very confusing for people because they'd buy a set and it would be specifically labeled an AMD set and not an Intel set. And they bought it for an Intel CPU and it didn't work. Or they would just have weird issues with it. Over time, DDR4 matured and corrected a lot of those issues. DDR5, we're going to see the same thing again because ddr5 being a new hardware mixed with other new hardware aka your cpus that are launching and your new motherboards that are launching uh, along with the support uh software support around it your bios etc firmware that's going to take time to mature so that everybody can work together and play nicely so to speak um current known issues with ddr5 that you should know and think about when you're building out your system you're not actually able to run your advertised speeds when in quad channel and in some cases even in dual channel you will have problems trying to get your xmp to run the advertised speed on your ram kit i've seen it in both it is difficult sometimes um dual channel most of the time it's pretty successful um, I've been pretty successful dual channel, I guess. If we're talking about dual channel, I'm talking about two sticks. If we're talking about quad channel, we're talking about four sticks. And that's usually, that, that's based on the standard motherboard that would have four slots on your on your motherboard. That's probably the most common scenario that I'm talking about right now for most people. Some people might buy some crazy um, bigger bigger boards with different layouts. But I'm talking about the most standard your, your regular guy that's going to go into Micro Center and buy the motherboard and RAM and pay, you know, looking to spend 1500 bucks, that's going to be most of us here. So 1500 plus right now, especially with the DDR5 <laughs> being so expensive, as well as all the new CPUs. Besides the point. Anyway, so not actually able to run the advertised speeds when in quad channel. What I mean by that is you will buy four sticks of RAM or two two dual sticks or two two sticks sets and you plug them in and it won't run at the xmp profile of 6600 megahertz for example if that's what the rated speed was for the ram uh when you purchased it you won't get it to run at 6600 megahertz that's and it sucks it just it's buggy it won't work um some cases xmp isn't as simple as just turning on your uh xmp and calling it a day and what I mean by that is you go in, enable your XMP, suddenly it doesn't post anymore. Well, you may have to just 
go into the XMP and do some different things. And I'll talk about that here with the workarounds in a minute. Um, Gear 5 posting issues. So this is a very common thing when you put four sticks in you might have posting problems or it won't even post. I've seen this a couple times now building with DDR5 and I just take two sticks out, leave it in dual, it posts, and I put the four sticks back in total and then it all of a sudden is posting just fine. It is just the weirdest things that will happen with DDR5. And then, I, and then it's stable too and I can get it to, to work. So just weird things will happen with DDR5 when you're, when you're just trying to build your computer and fire it up for the first time and enabling your XMP, it's not going to be quite that simple uh, in most cases. Uh, so these are the things that you should maybe consider to save you some time and money right now is only use a dual channel, two sticks, unless you absolutely have to use four. Um, and what I mean by that is you buy only two sticks. So let's say you need 64 gigs of RAM total instead of buying four 16 gigs, you're gonna buy two 32 gig sticks. Just as simple as that. Um, the other thing that I would recommend is if you are looking at faster RAM, I would, and you're gonna be using four sticks, just don't even bother with the 6600 megahertz right now. Start with your like 5600 megahertz or even 5200 megahertz start with that set because that set will more than likely work than uh your 6600 megahertz set so if you're gonna go with four sticks go with slower speeds for now if you absolutely have to go with four sticks and you're trying to get the best or fastest speeds but i can tell you right now 6600 megahertz is not going to just work out of the box it's or even 6,000. I've seen both with issues. Um, but just keep that in mind when you're when you're building out your system and trying to save a few bucks here and there. Don't just go to the fastest RAM if you're building with four sticks. If you're building with two, um, that works just fine. I haven't had a problem, honestly, for the most part, uh, with just running dual channel, two sticks, um, even up to like 6,600 megahertz uh, I've been able to achieve. So. Just keep these in mind, save yourself a few bucks, wait for the BIOS to catch up with the motherboards. Uh, BIOS updates will come out and finally probably resolve most of these issues. It's just going to take time for the hardware and the BIOS to mature to get there. <clears throat> so, and then, so th those are some, you know, money saving tips right now with DDR5 is don't just jump into the fastest set with four sticks, stick with two, you'll have less headaches. And you can even go with a little bit slower speeds for now and then trade that out in the future when all the problems are solved uh, for some faster RAM. So that's my advice anyway. Um, things to look forward to for DDR5. So the BIOS updates for your motherboard that I've mentioned before already. Keep an eye out for any new BIOS updates from your motherboard uh, manufacturer. You just go to your support page, uh, type in your model number, etc. I get to the support page for your motherboard. Look at the BIOS under downloads and then just see if there's a new release. And if there is, download it, put a flash drive, flash your BIOS, update it, see if your XMP is solved. But it should have in the notes as well for the BIOS release. Uh, each BIOS release should have the notes of what it actually changed. So you should obviously read those first before you just jump in and start flashing your BIOS. Um, and then if you don't know how to flash your BIOS, look it up on YouTube. There's a lot of good videos out there right now. Uh, from a lot of good good guys that know what they're doing. Um, so, and then will it function with AMD Ryzen 7000 series? So even to this day, being uh, October 7th, and AMD released just a few days ago, I haven't had a chance to build a AMD Ryzen 7000 series set. I've been itching to do it. Um, I've been watching the launch. It's been a very slow launch for AMD. I'm kind, of, I'm kind of surprised, especially with the performance jump in most most of the CPUs, um, that it's been such a slow launch. I, I would have expected to see Micro Center kind of just completely uh, out of stock the first day, but it wasn't. So I was kind of surprised. Uh, so it's been a slow launch. But anyway, I, I haven't been able to build a AMD 7000 series X670 build with DDR5 yet to kind of get that experience and see if these problems are changed because with the intel especially on their 12th gen 
your memory controllers on the CPU, not on the motherboard. I think AMD, I can't remember if AMD is uh, similar or not, but I'm just curious if it's going to be any different, if it's going to be a different experience with RAM. And if AMD does solve some of these problems uh, with DDR5, I, I mean, as a system integrator or builder, I'm going to be just pushing people AMD over the Intel products. Just saying. So I'll update you guys when I get there, <laughs> when I finally get to build one uh, and play around with the uh, four sticks versus two sticks to see if it, we still have the same problems. I'm assuming we will. I, that doesn't surprise me because it's new hardware with on top of new hardware mixed with new software or BIOS for more. Um, all meshing together and it's like a big mess right now <laughs> so anyway ddr5 keep those things in mind when you are putting your system together or planning out your upgrades advice just short and sweet go with two sticks go with not the fastest speeds <laughs> and you should steer clear from most of the issues with ddr5 uh, and give you the ability just to set your xmp and call it a day and fire up your build and start playing. So, two sticks, lower speeds. Don't go for the fastest stuff because you're just gonna be wasting money right now, um, in most cases. A again, this isn't always happening. It's hit or miss on some of these issues. So, um, and, and it, it, it could be like, for example, I did Trident Z uh, and their DDR5. I had two different sets of four um, 6600 megahertz and one set on one motherboard same motherboard had no issue not a single issue um, until I put four sticks in the other set 6600 megahertz um, two sticks wouldn't post <laughs> that's the stuff I'm talking about it's <laughs> so two sticks instead of uh four sticks right now is probably my best advice i can give you uh, and try to go with save some money and go with some of the lower speeds that'll save you some cost uh since it's not fully working anyway so why even bother buying it um anyway thanks for checking out this video uh supporting all of our socials if you haven't already go ahead and feel free to Jump into Facebook, Twitter, follow us. Uh, you can follow us on YouTube, Twitch as well. Uh, we do live build streams on Twitch, dominantly. Uh, and when I say that, it's because that's where we get most of our... Um, uh, most of our communities are. YouTube, we also stream to. And uh, Facebook, our page, will also stream to as well. But the majority of our streaming is done on Twitch. So just feel free to follow us uh, on any of those channels. And if you have any uh, questions, drop a comment or feel free to shoot us uh, an, an email uh, from our website or our, uh, contact us on any of our socials. So I'll be happy to answer any questions. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for watching. Take care.